What's up YouTube? This is Phil from MDC. Tonight, uh, got a few things to show you. It was a pretty good day. I managed to pick up a couple of cars from friends of mine. And I got a couple of cars in the mail. And I did find a couple of things in store. So, uh, I did get this in the mail. Vintage Racing 2010. Pirelli Jones 70 Ford Mustang Boss 302. This is one of the Boss Mustangs that I was missing from my collection. So I'm pretty stoked about having this. Uh, next, I did manage to get in the mail this 25th uh, Collector's Convention, Los Angeles, 2011, 1967 Camaro. Now this is... Uh, Pretty awesome piece. It's limited to a thousand five hundred pieces. I don't know if you can see it. There, limited to a thousand five hundred pieces, and this is number nine sixty. So it's a low number, uh, a low amount made, but we will open this one too. Uh, staying with convention, I did manage to get this. From a friend of mine, stoked about this. This is the 2021 Japan Convention. This one is limited to 5,000 pieces. Can I get a zoom on that? Yeah, 5,000 pieces. This is 1886. So I'm pretty stoked about this one. Uh, next, I managed to get this from a buddy. I've been looking for this piece for a while. I'm sure a lot of you already have it. But uh, I couldn't find it. So uh, my buddy picked it up for me. The Toyota A86 Sprinter Trueno. Black and white Falcon livery. Beautiful piece. I like this piece. So we got that to check out. Um, I also picked this up from a buddy. Mini GT Lamborghini Huracan. He only had one blue one, so uh, hopefully I made the right choice picking this up. The color, I'm dying to see it. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to open this up or not because I'm supposed to be getting the orange version of this. So I might not open this one up tonight, uh, we'll see. Also, I managed to find these two Outer World, the Ultra Red. The 71 Ford Mustang Boss 351 with its Ultra Red. Okay, this is, uh, I'm pretty stoked about these. And also, I managed to get these two Auto World also with the Auto, with the uh, Ultra Red. 1965 Chevy Suburban. So, I don't know if I'm going to open these ones or not. I might do a separate video with the Auto World and the uh, the Mini GT. So for sure we're going to open up these four Hot Wheels and uh, I'll see if, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's get to it. So we'll start off with this Toyota. We'll get this one open. Like I said, uh, I've had trouble in the stores finding this one. And my buddy knew, so uh, he called me up today, uh, well actually he texted me and sent me the picture said he's still looking for this. I said, yeah, please pick it up right away. There we go. Let me get the camera, guys. So this casting, uh, I think it's the second time I came out with a Falcon uh, livery. The first time was with the original colors, the blue and the uh, green. And this time with the black and the white, uh, I really, I really like this casting. I think they, I think they did an amazing job Hot Wheels with this casting. Uh, A eighty six is A E eighty six. Yeah, wow, it's just beautiful, beautiful. Honestly, well executed uh, Hot Wheels. And I do like the the black and white livery. Yeah. And this one has mirrors. It's really cool. Not a lot of Hot Wheels has mirrors, but this one has them. So it's pretty cool. I'm digging this casting. Honestly, I'm digging this casting. I think it's pretty uh, pretty awesome. 
Okay, next, let's get into this, this Mustang. All right, let's crack this one open. So this is the 2010 Vintage Racing Pernelli Jones 70 Ford Mustang Boss 302. This is a beautiful casting. Now, we did have it in 2010 in Vintage Racing as well. Um, it's not the... It, it looks the same the car, but it has white rims and a different number on it. And it's not uh, Pirelli Jones. I'm not, I don't remember who, who the driver was. I should have, but uh, I don't. Let me see if I have it. Yeah, right here. Okay, so you got 15 and you've got 16. Here, you see? So I basically really wanted the car to finish it off in my collections. I do collect the 302 Boss. And uh, I find these two are beautiful, beautiful. Anyways, we're going to talk about this one. The Pirelli Jones, and it is just gorgeous, really. I mean, they, Hot Wheels really did a great job with this Mustang. As far as I'm concerned, I think the 302 Boss is my favorite of the Mustangs. In the Hot Wheels line. Just a beautiful, well, beautifully well-executed car, really. So, yeah, pretty if you if you like that you should think about getting the both of them they're they're pretty cars they're pretty cars okay next next we have this camaro okay so here we have the limited 25th collector's convention los angeles california 2011 okay this is the limited card there's only a thousand five hundred of these cars so let's take a close peek at it i really love the camaros i mean as i said i try to collect all the camaros so this is like this is fantastic anyway here we go so there it is guys 67 camaro it's beautiful really really beautiful the symbol on the top let me straighten that out for you guys if you can maybe get a there you go just gorgeous 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 car i love it you know most of the convention pieces they do uh put flames on them these tribal flames i mean uh i i, I could do without the flames to be honest with you i mean the color is just phenomenal I mean, I could, like I said, I could do without the flames, but it's a convention model. Full detail. And it's just gorgeous anyways. I mean, it's just a beautiful piece. I, I, I love these convention pieces. The hood uh, open? Wait a second here. Yeah, the hood, well, it kind of opens. I don't want to force it. I don't want to force it. I'll play with it maybe a little later. I don't want to force it now. Uh, you know, on a piece that's only 1,500. I don't want to start messing around with it. But anyways, it's a beautiful car, guys. I love this car. Okay, next, staying with the conventions. So here's the 2021 20, Japan Convention Chevy C10 pickup. Now this truck we've all seen, uh, you can see the bottom, the suspension is adjustable. We've all seen this uh, two other times in premium with the RLCs. Okay, so uh, here's the RLC before. Okay, here you go. Here's the RLC of last year. Adjustable suspension. This one I kept it low. See, same dial. Okay. And then we've seen it before in the brown. This one I raised the suspension. 
by turning the dial. Exact same truck. So you see, all we have to do is turn it and slam. So as we've seen the, the two trucks before, now let's get this one open. Really, really, really nice. Look at this detail, guys. Wow. That's some stunning artwork. You see the back? It's like the front of the card. The, the hood, the roof. Just gorgeous, eh? Wow, look at all that work. Wow. Wow. What a superb truck. This color combo, black hood, blue sides, just stunning. Wow. Let's raise the suspension. Oh, this one's a bit tough. Oh, there we go. Raise the suspension. Wow, is that nuts or what? I'm telling you, Hot Wheels, you nailed it. You nailed it with the suspension. And uh, whoever did the artwork on this, I'll tell you, hats off to you. It's, it's just amazing. Just amazing. What a beautiful truck. Let's put it back down on the floor. So, yeah. That's that. The three C10 pickups and that Japan convention one really is just stunning, guys. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I love it. Now, this. Uh, should we do the Mini GT or should we wait till tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll have the. I will probably have the orange one. Now, you know what? Forget it. Okay, let's open this up. Let's get this Mini GT open, yeah? I'm really dying to see what this color looks like. I'm, uh, you know, I'm a little skeptical. Let's get it open. Well, not as bad as I thought, I'll tell you. Uh, this color actually looks pretty good. I would say it's a pretty decent color on this car. Look at that, eh? Not bad. Not bad. Black wheels. Blue tailpipes. Mini GT, you're doing it again, huh? The, the mirrors are rubber. I don't know if you can see it. You see the rubber? I can move them. Thank God. Otherwise, it would break. Look at this detail. Eh? Isn't that amazing, guys? Yeah, oh, you got to love it. Metal body, metal base, like I always say. Mini GT is really good with that. Screwed in uh, base. Rubber tires. Rubber mirrors. You have engine detail. The spoiler, carbon fiber. Really sweet, eh? I love this Mini GT. Wow. So I did an all right uh, choice with this color, I think. We'll have the orange one tomorrow. We'll compare them there, but uh, I think it looks really, really good. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot, guys. So anyways, that's that. As I said, it was a beautiful diecast score today. And I'm really happy with what we got. So, guys, have a great night. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the subscriptions. And uh, until next time, chill, everybody, and take care. Bye.